God, when I push record, you guys can't see the magical roof. This is not an impressive camera angle. I see people. Hello, people. What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. I have to show you guys. Oh my God. It's been, okay. Hi. Hello. It's been forever since I've been outside. I'm just kidding. How to make it all awkward in the first five seconds or less. Okay. Um, before I turn the car off completely again, I have to show you guys this one particular air freshener that I got from AliExpress. It does not go with the decor in here. Look at my sardine. He is enjoying his day. Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today's video is gonna be a shoe unboxing. I did warn you guys that I was probably gonna start doing these again, and here we are. I am at the creepy, not so abandoned these days, old junior high. And I just got attacked by a plant. Plant attack. Plant attack. That I've been filming at for a thousand years. I thought for a change of pace, it would be fun to come outside. And I always like time things like so badly because it is going to rain. I'm all dressed up today, literally for what? Like literally no purpose. Cause it is gonna like, I think we're under a flash flood warning. So I decided to like film the intro in here. Cause I honestly don't know like how the audio is gonna be or anything else. You guys, it's been so long since I filmed like out and about like years that I'm like relearning all over again. But I think I need one of those little, like it's not a lavalier. What is that? The TikTok microphone. Hopefully soon I can do a follow me around. I might be going to a thrift store. I almost had a thrift store near you very soon. That is probably not true. I want to do more of these fashion videos. Hi, this is just a tea vlog. I haven't even gotten into the main portion of the shoe unboxing video yet, but sippy sippy, I'm drinking water. Also, you guys, I thought that this hair looked so cute and now that I'm sitting in front of this camera, I think I look kind of like a cone head. Anyway, I was talking about thrifting because I want to do thrift flip videos. I feel like that would be fun. I also want to do these like style challenge videos where I get like a really weird or random piece of clothing that seems impossible to style or make a good looking outfit out of it. And I wanna try and style it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. I just found a top, not a costume, not a Halloween costume, a top that looks like a disco ball. And I literally have like tried to look this shirt up and like just see it like on any other human body ever. I'm like, how, do, like, did you guys hear that? Yeah, I just can't imagine how anybody ever styled it. Like not even the designer. Onto the actual content of today's video, I have two what I think. I have two. What I think are vintage pairs of Doc Martens. I say I think because I have recently been buying a ton of stuff on Depop. I haven't looked in the boxes. I just like sliced them open because I knew that I would struggle to remember to bring scissors. So I have sliced them open, but I don't know what's inside. So um, let's leave this car now and go all the way over there to the staircase which you guys i am like i am lit oh my god look at this okay this is like i feel like that's like embarrassing like you get out of your car and your hair is so big you're just smashing your hair into things you guys ready to engage earthworm again i've got a creepy tripod i'm trying to put my shoes back on which by the way i have a splinter in my foot and i can't find it i almost feel like that's like tmi oversharing but hey it's cool we're friends so i'll tell you guys about the things hidden in my feet i almost kind of feel like i should do like an outfit of the day today even though I'm like not wearing much. I feel like I need to temporarily put you guys in the rat bag. This is where I'm taking you guys over to the steps in this rat bag. Just a girl in her rat. You're going in a rat bag, going in a rat bag. All right, you guys, I decided to splash in a random outfit of the day. I kind of feel like this is like the least like spicy outfit i've done in a very long time it's a very it's a very normal outfit for yours truly so that's why you know i brought along the rats beautiful springtime floral dress how about a rat bag sippy sippy you guys we've made it i will try and break for wind also you guys we might 
see another butterfly. I just saw a butterfly. I'm so excited. I'm here to show you guys the flora and fauna. Like these rats. The thing that I'm gonna open first is not this box, because that's the box that I don't know what is inside of it. These have got to be the Doc Martens, because I only ordered one pair of shoes from the UK, so that narrows it down just a little bit. I have really been interested lately in expanding my Doc Martens collection. I don't know why, I just suddenly feel like I don't have enough Doc Martens. A lot of times I'm interested in vintage pairs or past collections. I don't remember what the series was called. I only have one pair that was part of this collection and those were the Hieronius Bosch. They were like an oil painting Doc Martin. They were really cool. There was like quite apparently a bunch of paintings and artists in that like classical series and I just missed out on them I guess. Also on the lookout for Sworsky? Sworsky? I don't know how to pronounce that but quite apparently they had a Doc Martin collab as well. So I feel like I've been missing out on a lot of amazing Doc Martin shoes. The other thing that I have really been interested in adding to my collection is like vintage and really worn looking Doc Martens. Doc Martens maybe from the early 2000s or late 90s that just look like thrash. You guys know I love that style of like distressed and thrashed clothing. That is what I think we're gonna get in this box today. Let me just open it up. Oh my god. Maybe I didn't cut all the way through. There's still tape. Like very thick. Oh my god. Gosh, you guys, I can't even believe. Ugh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Sticky tape residue on my fingers. Hope these make their way safely across the Atlantic to you. How cute. What I'm so shocked that we did get in here. I just said this in my other shoe unboxing. I was like, oh, would you guys be interested in like vintage or secondhand shoes if I do an unboxing for those? Even though I doubted that we would ever get the original box. Who knows if it is the original, but hey, it's a box and it says Doc Martens on it. So, um, wow. Is this actually the original box? I thought that these were older, but maybe they are newer. Maybe it was just like a re-released style. These look like, what is that thing where it's like heat? It's not quite like mood ring or something. It's like thermal. You guys will see, I can't resist. I feel like this is like the most courteous bubble wrap I've ever been around in my life. It's like very quiet. Look at this. It also has the original paper inside of the box. Why am I so fascinated by that? We got these, which what? What would you call this? They're technically called rub off. This is a style of Doc Martens that I feel like only looks cooler the more that you wear them, the more wear and tear they get. They originally started off as red and then when you rub off like the first layer, it starts to turn green and then there is a blue layer underneath. So each pair, they're all going to look like slightly different. These don't look very worn. Like we can see some wear and tear on the heel, but overall, like this is shockingly new. Like I feel like we have some creasing in the leather, but like literally not much at all. Hi there. It's editing me from the future. I'm sitting here enjoying my morning coffee with my gigantic roach pillow, as one does. It's like, you know, it's not real. It's still up close. It's like, it's terrifying. Um, also, I thought putting a light here. Can you, do you guys see that? Oh my God. I thought it would be less harsh than filming with all the major lights, but I am wrong. I feel like I'm in a tanning booth. Anyway, you guys, I'm here to tell y'all I went and refilmed the shoe clips because part of the reason that I wanted to go over to the ye old junior high anyway was so that we could have the fun, tappy, tappy, jumpy, jumpy ASMR sounds. And the day that I originally went to go film this video, they were weed whacking. This is how I film shoe unboxings, right? I talk about all the shoes first and then at the very end I try them on and jump around. So I was able to film like the whole video and then when I was trying to film the shoe jumping around sounds, they were like weed whacking and weed whacking and weed whacking. 
I just kind of thought you guys wouldn't enjoy that much. I just didn't think that would be very ASMR of me. Now I'm kind of wondering though, do you guys ever get those like ASMR video recommendations to you in your YouTube feed? Now I'm wondering like, is there somebody, you know what? I have a phone. I have YouTube. Is there relaxing lawnmower sounds? Oh my God. Lawnmower engine sounds eight hours. Mowing the lawn for sleep sounds. Do you find the lawnmower sound relaxing? Maybe I was wrong. Did I even really need to explain that? I feel like you guys would be able to tell if I just put the clips in there because the original day that I filmed, it was very cloudy. And then the day that I went back to film, it was very sunny. And also I remember to put on socks. Later in this video, I talk about like my initial experience with trying these shoes on all the blisters that I got. The blisters. I guess that could be part of this shoe unboxing review as well. Y'all, I don't ever remember getting blisters like this with Doc Martens before. These were honestly some of the most painful shoes that I've ever even just tried on. I don't know if I've ever gotten blisters before in just a shoe unboxing video. Like sometimes if I took a new pair of shoes and then wore them, I would get blisters, but never just from like trying them on. And these were like the worst blisters that I've had in years. Like just to walk to the steps, like back to my car, I had to pull my heels out of the shoes and step on the backs of the shoes. Sometimes do you ever just like, and you're like, I could be, I could be a villain. I forgot to say, here are the new shoe clips. If these are what I think they're gonna be, it's probably like the same thing, but a little bit different. Wait, oh my gosh, hang on, hang on. That was such a sweet little surprise. This I bought from a Depop seller called Savage Cat Tabby, and she's Swamp Fam. She sent some stickers and a cute little note. I found these first. I don't have that many low top Doc Martens in my collection. And then I found these. These are the same, but different. But look, see what I mean? That box is blowing away. This has the same colorway pattern. These definitely are more red. The first layer is red, then green, then blue. It's maybe not even considered a high top. High top, low top. Look at that wear and tear. That looks so awesome. Things that I have in my car. A bull head mask. Look, its mouth moves. What do you have in your car? What? Oh, he says it's a secret. <laughs> I was trying to do the outro. Look at this. Oh my God, okay. They mean goats. Look at this. Look at this bumper sticker. I just keep seeing people go in and out of here. <laughs> Trying to see if I can like sneak in here um, to do the outro. Even though I wasn't invited. <gasps> oh my God. It's actually locked. Okay, but can I just... <gasps> oh no. Last time the gate code was like literally... <laughs> 666. They've subsequently changed it. I'm shocked that it's actually locked. Where can I do an outro? Rat bag is heavy. <gasps> I promised you flora and fauna. I found a stapler. Whose stapler is that? Welcome to Bunny's Creepy Corner. <gasps> flora and fauna. It's a, I don't know what that is. Can you see? There's a bird in the sky. It looks like I'm pointing at nothing. Can you see? No, there's nothing there. I'm balancing you on the rat bag now. Rat bag is a paid actor. I am sweating. Now there's just a dang purse handle in this shot. I feel like now I remember why I stopped going out anywhere in Doc Martens. You guys, I cannot believe just in the course of attempting to try these shoes on twice. Wait, I can't, I gotta unlock this car. Can't keep a single thought funk. Everybody say hi to Mr. Friendly. Hello, Mr. Friendly. 
Oh my God. Why did I think, I thought that this was gonna be like, oh, heavenly angels light, to tell you my thought about some shoes. As I was trying to say, I like forgot how uncomfortable, honestly, Doc Martens are. I was thinking I could avoid that by buying used Doc Martens that somebody else had already worn and broken in. The low tops are more comfortable than the high tops. TMI, once again, once again, we're talking about what's in my foot. I now have four blisters, two sets of blisters, where just trying these shoes on and taking them off and jumping around in them, I am not even joking. I maybe had the shoes on for like five minutes in total. Huge, gigantic blisters. And I have no excuse, you guys, because I remembered and then I forgot. I remembered to bring, but then I forgot. And I also, I don't know, I thought maybe it would like take away from the ambiance of the shoe trying on portion. Um, if I just had these knee high emoji socks. These are actually like kind of cute. Look at the little, look at the little turds. Can I say turd on YouTube? Poop. Look at the little poops. If the poops have faces, would we feel bad about flushing them? Deep thoughts. I guess that's why there's all these videos on YouTube where it's like how to wear Doc Martin shoes. I'm like, wait, how to wear shoes? Although it is kind of weird because I definitely do remember getting pairs of Doc Martens in the past and they did not hurt at all to break in. Was I a stronger person back then? I don't know. Been out here jumping around now for like two hours and it hasn't rained yet. I was promised pouring rain that I actually like do not want. I don't like the rain. I kind of want to go take like a dramatic thumbnail. Just wanted to extra thank you guys for hanging out with me today because as I'm sure you can tell, this is kind of like the first time that I have filmed anywhere in public for years. I would love to start filming follow me arounds and everything like that again and going on like little journeys. I'm definitely like not ready for like travel or anything like that yet, but I would like to start filming follow me arounds and vlogs and stuff again this year with you guys. And so I feel like today was just like the first little step dipping my toe in the water of filming somewhere other than my filming room. So I'm sorry if the like quality today was a little rusty. Also, I used to film Follow Me Arounds on my iPhone. I feel like you guys know this and I don't know, maybe we'll test the quality for that because I feel like everybody always says these days like, oh, like filming on the iPhone is like very 2012. But sometimes, honestly, even when I'm filming like other videos, I do film on the iPhone because sometimes the quality is not that bad. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to just randomly film the outro on the front camera of the iPhone and you guys tell me like comparatively how is the sound quality because I feel like maybe that would also be like easier on my first couple outings to like not have to take like a tripod and like a real camera or anything so you guys let me know anyway um double secret outro almost over I'll see you guys on the phone this is where you're going next huh oh my god oh <laughs> I was like why is just a thumb yeah I feel like shakiness also, I forgot where to look. Ooh, but look at this. Now you guys can really see. Also, I did one custom headrest for the Halloween Jeep. I still have cobwebs on those. Uh, but now I need to do this guy. But you guys have been asking me for like a million years to do a tutorial for how I do my custom headrests. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be a banana peppers video. You guys, I feel like I'm looking. Wait, okay, okay. I just have to try. Does this make me look like I'm like actually looking at the camera now? Where's the camera? Are you in there? Ha. Ah. Also, I feel like this camera makes me look so much sweatier. I'm looking very sweaty. How's the sound quality as we evaluate my sweaty lips? Oh my God, I'm filming this whole segment upside down. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye. I've got cabbages. Watch this.